the end of this video, you're gonna know how to rank number one for any search term within your niche because if you're not ranking for search, you're probably not getting views 24 seven and you might get a lot of views some days, not a lot of views the next day. And this is one of the worst things that could happen to your YouTube channel because you wanna make sure that you're getting consistent views and consistent growth if you wanna get more brand deals or if you wanna be able to sell more products and make more money from YouTube because the last thing that you want is one month to make $10,000 and the next month make $1,000 because it's totally dependent on you going viral. In fact, it's the worst thing that you could possibly do on YouTube and I've used the exact strategy I'm gonna share with you to have over 310,000 people sign up for my programs. In addition to that, I've gotten over 25 million views and over 500 million impressions simply by using the four-step strategy I'm gonna share with you in this video and you can do the same exact thing no matter what niche you're in. But first, I need to make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you're gonna go quick on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In fact, I quit my job working for Gary Vee to help you grow on YouTube, so please, make sure you support me. So when it comes to actually ranking for search on YouTube, there are four things you need to pay attention to. The first one is going to be your title, the second, your description, the third, the tags that you're using, and then fourth, you need to make sure that you're actually talking about whatever you're trying to rank for in the first 15 to 30 seconds of the video, because if you're not, YouTube is going to look at that transcript and see that you didn't even address the user search and they're actually not going to show your content. Let me give you an example. If we go through, look for something like affiliate marketing, which is an incredibly competitive term, we're going to look at the top few results. I'm going to show you how you can actually do this. So this one right here, how to start affiliate marketing without a following. The reason that this video works is because if we click into this and go to his description, his description is literally how to start affiliate marketing without a following. And then a bunch of times within this description, if we search for it, he has affiliate marketing. I mean, look at this. It literally shows up on this page here 54 times. And the reason that he's doing this is because it makes it very, very obvious to YouTube what the actual video is about. In addition, to that, how to start affiliate marketing without a following is going to be a long tail search term. If you don't know what long tail is, let me show you by coming to a YouTube keyword research tool like vidIQ. So if we come into vidIQ and we search for something like affiliate marketing, we're going to see a bunch of different things pop up. So first and foremost, you're going to see that this search term has a ton of different searches for it. And there's not a lot of competition for it with only at a 45, 1.4 million people a month. That is a lot of people. So it would be really hard to just rank for affiliate marketing. So what did this person do? How to start affiliate marketing without a following. So what we're gonna do is affiliate marketing without a following. And this is going to be a long tail keyword. And what you're gonna notice is only 1,800 people are searching for this. And if we look for this exact search, it's only 1,400 people. But guess what this creator was able to do? They were able to use this long tail keyword to get a ton of people interested in that piece of content because I would bet that the majority of people that are actually searching for affiliate marketing don't have any followers. So this is actually really good and solves a problem that somebody searching for just affiliate marketing would have. In addition to that, they have the keyword right here. And if we look at the transcript of this video, right here, I bet, yep, at the four second mark, he mentions affiliate marketing. And the reason that he did this, again, was because YouTube is going to be looking at this transcript and they're going to want to make sure that the video is actually about whatever they're saying. And if we scroll down here, the same thing when we look at their video tags, you're going to see affiliate marketing for beginners, affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing Amazon, and he literally goes through and lists out all these different tags and all four of these things combine to be the reason that this video ranked for search. Most people stop here and just think that it's about the titles, the tags, the description, and the transcript of the video, but that couldn't be further from the truth because the other thing that comes into consideration is how long your video is and whether or not your video actually sticks out amongst your competitors. So we need to dive into those things too. So in order to find out how long you should actually make your piece of content and what type of content you need to stick out around, you need to again go to a search on a tool like vidIQ. By the way, if you don't have vidIQ, you could go to the pinned comment below, register right now for one dollar for the next 30 days personally I would have never been able to get so many views get so many people to sign up for my programs had I not ranked for search and vidIQ is my secret weapon for doing that so I strongly suggest you try it out for the next 30 days what's the worst that happened it doesn't increase your views you wasted one dollar and you could just cancel your subscription so 
you're going to do a search for something like affiliate marketing. You are going to come down here and it is going to show you a bunch of questions around this, a bunch of matching terms, and a bunch of related keywords, which by the way, in just a second, I'll tell you what to do with these. But what you want to do right now is come down here and actually see what types of videos are doing well under here. So this video right here, obviously was ranking number one. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm going to put that in a new window. Note, this video is 11 minutes long. This next one, same thing. I'm going to do this. We have to watch this ad quickly, and then we're going to have to click skip ad. Boom, 11 minutes long. Are you noticing a trend? We're gonna do one more right here, and this video is 22 minutes long. So what I would do here is not make a video that's eight minutes long. I would not make a video that's 10 minutes long. You wanna make a video that is at least as long as these videos, because if we're gonna assume that these videos are getting a 50% average view duration, which by the way, is a very safe bet, because if you want to actually get views on YouTube, ideally you need to be getting over 50% average view duration. So we're gonna assume that they have 50%. So if a video is 11 minutes long, you get 50%, that's about five minutes and 30 seconds that people are spending watching that piece of content. YouTube, essentially, when it comes to search, is literally just trying to show the viewer the video that is going to solve their problem and as a proxy of whether or not it solves their problem, they're going to look at whether or not people are clicking on it and how long people are watching the video for because if they're watching the video for one minute, well, guess what? It probably didn't solve their problem and they're going to find another video. But if they're watching for 50%, it's a really good sign that it actually solved the viewer's problem. So they're going to continue to push that video out. But on top of that, YouTube isn't dumb. They wanna be able to make more money and they understand that if somebody shows a six minute video versus an 11 minute video, they can have more ads on that 11 minute video. So they're gonna selfishly make more money for that 11 minute video. So you need to make sure that you're playing the game of how long you're actually creating your piece of content because that's gonna have a drastic effect on whether or not YouTube is actually pushing it out. I know what you're thinking. Why don't I just create a 60 second video for every single search and just solve the viewer's problem in 60 seconds because that's going to leave them most satisfied, but that's it's not actually what you should do when it comes to long form content. Since you brought that up and thought about it, I want to make sure that you understand that shorts is probably the biggest opportunity right now to be able to rank for search on YouTube. A lot of creators are ignoring this and this is like a gold mine right now because you can rank for search on shorts, solve the viewer's problem. What are they going to do? They're going to subscribe to your channel and then in addition to that, if you create a long form piece of content that that same audience is going to be interested in, you're then going to get more views on your long form content because if you know how YouTube works, the videos that you get suggested are all based on your past watch history. So if you watch a video from a creator that is a short or a long form video, the next time you log on to YouTube, you're going to see more of that. And then guess what ends up happening? You end up skyrocketing the amount of reach that you're getting on YouTube. Let me show you an example of this because shorts are now starting to take over the search results, especially on a mobile device, but even on a laptop. As you can see, even when you come to YouTube now on a laptop, when you scroll down, you get shown a bunch of shorts. In addition to that, if I go and do a search for something like how to get subscribers on YouTube, guess what's going to pop up? A bunch of shorts are literally the first thing to pop up. In fact, I have a short here that's been ranking for search that's gotten over 600,000 views. And guess what? It's going to be majority shorts before you actually get to all this long form content, which shows you how important these shorts actually are. Because if somebody then watches one of these shorts, guess what they're then going to get recommended? They're probably going to get recommended my long form video about the same exact topic. So you need to make sure that you're leveraging shorts and long form content if you're trying to rank for search, which brings me to by far the most important thing that you need to be focused on, which is going to be those long tail keywords for which we need to come back into vidIQ. And the way that you're going to get these long tail keywords is from related keywords, matching terms, and questions. So yes, you want to be able to rank for affiliate marketing because if you rank number one, you might be able to get hundreds of thousands or even millions of searches every single month. By the way, these are based on the month. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go through and get these related keywords, the matching keywords, the questions, anything over 25,000 searches a month. And again, I'm doing this example for affiliate marketing, obviously, but you can do this for whatever niche you're in. You literally just want to go through InfinitiQ, get all of these different related keywords, and then what you're going to do is you're going to list all these out, and you are going to create a video for each and every single one of these, and eventually, some of them are going to start to rank for search, and what you're going to notice when you rank for search, the same way that if you come into my analytics and watch this, 
boom. We are going to go lifetime. We're going to come back down here. So when I first started my channel, December 19, March is really when I started to rank for search. We're going to look at this through May. And what we're going to see here is, look, these are my videos going out initially. Going out initially, not really getting any views. Starting to get a little bit of traction, but this traction was from browse features, which again, wasn't that helpful goes back to not getting a lot of views, which if you go back to the beginning of this video is what I wanted to make sure you're not doing. And then boom, I literally start to rank for search. Now look, this is March 12th. and As you can see, the views just keep going up, keep going up, keep going up. And if I come in to see more in my analytics, come to traffic sources, look at the number one traffic source. It is literally from YouTube search. And this graph literally looks exactly like the content that I was creating back then. And if we now come into my content and then go by date, you're going to be able to see the same exact thing. My content is all over the place here, all over the place. I'm making videos about how to go viral on TikTok. I'm making videos about 2019 year in review and only 200 people wanted to watch it. And then guess what happens? This is the end of January, February. Again, I'm making videos about Google ads, digital marketing, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and then I finally start to focus just on TikTok as we come into March here and look at what happens. 130,000, 50,000, 100,000, 60,000. This video was a flop. 30,000, 31,000. And how did I do this? Ranking for search, how to make money on TikTok, something people search for, the top TikTok hashtags, something people search for, how to get verified on TikTok, something people search for, do this to get on the TikTok for you page, something people search for, TikTok trends of the week, people don't search for that. But if I would have been smart enough to go look at vidIQ and type in something like TikTok trends for the week, I would have seen that nobody is searching for this. And then if I contrast that with how to make money on TikTok, guess what? 100,000 people. And then if we come over to my content, again, TikTok trends for the week, got no views. Why did it get no views? Nobody was searching for it. How to make money on TikTok? 50,000 views. Why did it get 50,000 views? Because people are actually searching for it. And the number one thing that I want you to take away from this is that it might take five videos for you to be able to rank for search or 10 videos to rank for search. But once you rank for search, you're going to get an exponential amount of views on YouTube and it is going to completely change your life because it's going to make it really easy for you to sell people stuff. Because is instead of interrupting people or hoping that they're interested in what you're talking about, you're literally just ranking for search, solving somebody's problem, and you know exactly what they're looking for. So you can make a video specifically around that and provide a solution for them. Now, on top of that, you need to make sure that you're actually following how the YouTube algorithm works. And if you don't know how it works, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that literally gives you a complete breakdown of the current 2024 YouTube algorithm. I'll see you over there.